Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. If we're looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $2.16 trillion and we're up 1.1% in the last 24 hours and BTC dominance is currently sitting at 47.4%. If we're looking at the overall markets in the last 24 hours, we are starting to see a lot of green across the board and that is looking very, very nice. I believe the month of May will be a month where we see a lot of green and newer highs for a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies. But today I want to talk about none other than VeChain. Alright guys, if we're looking at VeChain's price right now, VeChain is currently trading at 20.2 cents. Uh, it's down 3.3% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. It's also down 3.5% in BTC comparative in the last 24 hours. Uh, top rank on CoinMarketCap on, on CoinGecko is 14. And a market cap right now is $13.1 billion in 24 hour trading volume is uh, th uh, three billion dollars so uh, not bad uh, if we're looking at that uh, but if we're looking zooming out and looking at the bigger picture guys in still in the last year alone uh, VeChain is up 4,400 percent and in just the last 30 days alone a staggering 122.4 percent and I believe this uh, coming month of May will be the month where we see newer highs for VeChain but let's jump into some uh, news and then I will come and uh, do my price analysis on VeChain. So uh, VeChain Foundation posted this. It says announcing 1 million USD grant program for the VeChain e e e NFT ecosystem. So it has always been the mission of VeChain uh, Foundation to enable businesses organizations through our blockchain solution as we run several uh, accelerator and grant programs in the past to uh, bolster our blockchain and dApp ecosystem and help small enterprise and community startups to build their project. We've established that NFT and eNFTs will be revolutionary and uh, prevalent uh, moving forward and the implication as a game change should not be underestimated. To build such an ecosystem, uh, we need as many applications and projects as we can get, including NFT marketplaces, token bridges, DeFi applications, open source tool, uh, and more. Uh, the compounding effect of uh, more tools will be uh, exponentially increase uh, the development uh, progress of the ENFT ecosystem. To achieve this goal, we're committing a $1 million USD to fund a brand new VeChain grant program, especially for developers and projects that will bring value to the ENFT ecosystem and its subsequent derivatives. By applying for this grant, not only will you be a head start in resources for starting a project or business, but your work on dApps, NFTs, and DeFi uh, on VeChain Thor will also contribute to the development of the ENFT ecosystem. And if you guys want to read more about it, I will leave the link in the description box below it is very interesting and, and now moving on to um, what VeChain posted on Twitter as you guys may know I covered this uh, prior uh, in a couple of my videos uh, as you guys may know uh, they were doing an AMA Sunny Lu and Peter Zhao were doing an AMA through Reddit and uh, today they posted uh, thanks everyone for joining this AMA it's been a blast uh, answering all your questions for the past few hours uh, so much more progress is coming to the VeChain ecosystem and we cannot wait to reveal what we've been working on so um, you know this AMA that I talked about has uh, finally um, you know uh, come to an end you guys can go uh, on a VeChain Twitter and uh, click this link and you guys can see all the questions that were asked and all the questions that were answered very very interesting things have been said on there as well so I strongly encourage especially if you're a VeChain holder to go check this out and give it a read but now moving on to the VeChain's price right now guys VeChain is trade you know holding around that 20 cents range it's looking very very bullish in my opinion right now and I believe it's just a matter of time it's just a matter of time before we do head towards our newer all-time high for VeChain so if we're looking at um, you know let me bring uh, this level real quick for you guys and then we can chart this out 
All right, so where is VeChain heading? Like I said, the month of May is approaching. I still cannot believe we're, the month of May is already coming. This year, 2021, is flying. And, you know, it just feels like yesterday when this year started. But, you know, time's, uh, you know, flying like crazy. It's insane. Uh, but if we're looking at um, VeChain right now, it is holding at 20 cents right now. And it is in that 0.5 at Fibonacci retracement level uh, and around this green zone very bullish in my opinion and um, it's doing exactly it's doing exactly exactly what I have uh, been saying I wanted to do I wanted to be accumulating in this zone and before we do see you know newer highs and so far everything is going as planned we did initially go up uh you know just a couple of days ago all the way to 22 cents but we were unable to hold above uh you know uh, around that range so you know even accumulating in this zone as i mentioned you know we can accumulate around this level you know build some sort of uh you know strong support that we did back here and then we do head towards our newer all-time highs but I believe this accumulation zone for VeChain will not be super long as you know markets are recovering very very fast there's a lot of hype coming in and um, you know there's a lot of good bullish news coming in as well um, for crypto itself so uh, I do not see VeChain accumulating for a very long time but for the next couple of days I could possibly see it uh, you know accumulating in this range and so far it has done exactly that for us so w what I would personally like for it to do is hover around this range hover around this range even if it comes uh, down all the way to 18 cents very very uh, you know normal in my opinion hover around this range and then we go above here I believe we uh, you know might have like some sort of a choppiness around this level and then you know we are off to the races and I believe 30 cents is the next target now so there might be some choppiness around this level as well but you know once we break that 23.6 uh, Fibonacci retracement level guys I believe you know VeChain will be ready to smash past its all-time high and 30 cents is the next target and, um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of my viewers are coming up to me and now asking me, Crypto ZX, where could you see VeChain go at the end of this year? So at the end of this year, guys, my initial price prediction, if you guys have been following me on my channel for a while, you guys know my initial price prediction was $0.38. Cents. Now, you may be asking, how did I get that? If you want to know exactly how I make, came up with that price prediction, I encourage you guys to go watch my video that I made last year, uh, uh, like my fr only price prediction video I made on VeChain. You guys can go watch that and you guys can get a better understanding as to how I came up with $0.38 cents as a price prediction. But guys, we are nearly at, you know, at that price level already. And, you know, there's so much demand kicking in, as you guys may know. Uh, VeChain is making some big, big moves around the crypto space and in the real uh, world uh, as well. And, you know, all, as you guys may know, it has a working product, real use case, and it's bringing mass adoption to cryptocurrencies. And I believe it has, you know, super high potential compared to, um, you know, uh, compared to 38 cents i think my 38 cents price prediction will uh, you know uh, be passed by quite a bit i strongly uh, still think v chain if we were to get uh, you know that type of parabolic move uh, that we saw back in 2017 which a lot of analysts are saying we will get if we were to get that type of magnitude of a bull run one dollar is a very very possible for v chain which is roughly only uh, i believe uh, 4.5x away from this level so you know very exciting times ahead for v chain holders and uh, that's absolutely insane when i think about it though and um you know i still strongly strongly believe that we will get listed on coinbase uh because uh you know coinbase wants projects that you know are a very very revolutionary you know doing some big things around the cryptocurrency space and you, you guys know what vchain is doing so i strongly encourage you know i strongly believe that vchain will be listed on coinbase this year it's just a matter of time uh when they do list it but again this is just my own personal opinion only time will tell what really happens for vchain but so far everything is looking very very bullish i'm extremely extremely bullish on vchain and i believe it's just the absolute start for what it is going to do so now let's look at the bearish scenario I always have to cover the bearish scenario before we you know uh, you know uh, uh, end the video because I am not a uh, extreme ultra moon boy if you guys know if you are my loyal you know fans 
uh, on my channel supporters they know i am not an ultra moon boy i always tell you guys i always tell you guys uh, invest what you can afford to lose into the crypto markets and always do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets so um you know as you guys may know uh for uh, my uh, supporters that have been watching me continuously, you guys may not have said this, uh, you know, a few times, but I know a lot of newcomers are coming on my channel, guys. And if you are new and you are new to the crypto space, guys, these kind of corrections that we are seeing over here can be very scary. In this case, guys, you always want to have strong hands and have patience because you do not want to be shaken out. And, um, you know, always have some, if you have the money that is too much of, uh, for you to, uh, you know, like you cannot afford to lose, guys, then take profits and have an exit strategy in place because nothing is going to go up straight forever and we're always going to see these kind of shake-offs and pullbacks before we do see newer highs. And, um, you know, uh, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So bearish scenario would be that we come down to uh, this level at 15.4 cents and I believe it should uh, be a level of support as you guys can see uh, but if we're unable to hold around there uh, you know I believe uh, you know uh, we could come around this level at that 12.9 uh, cents range I strongly believe it should hold around those levels but all, if it's like ultra bearish then we could even fall further down to that 10 cents range there's very very strong support around that range but uh, you know the probability of that happening is very low in my opinion as uh, you the you know reasons I've mentioned earlier to you guys but overall everything is looking very very bullish guys um, you know this is just the absolute start for VeChain and you know I believe VeChain is just getting started and we are just we're in it for a you know very very exciting times ahead of us but at the end of the day only time will tell and this is just my own personal opinion and i strongly believe myself that in the next couple of months we will be looking back and on april 28th and be looking at the prices and we'll be laughing at it and wishing that we bought around these levels or even around back you know when we did see these corrections but again my own personal opinion only time will tell but with that being said guys strongly encourage you guys to go check out this um you know ama very interesting things things have been said on here so i strongly encourage especially if you're a v-chain holder to go check this out and um also guys uh stay safe out there safety comes first health comes first family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later and uh you know always invest what you can afford to lose guys always do your own due diligence and research before investing into crypto i cannot stress this enough and thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been showing me i really i really really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys for showing so much support like it does not go unnoticed thank you so so much like i do sh shout out uh, you know a lot of people but then you know it makes me feel bad because i you know miss some names because they show me so much support as well so each and every one of you guys thank you thank you thank you but with that being said guys i will see you guys tomorrow and uh, you know take care and uh, you know it's been crypto zx and peace out